Happy Saturday, Mid-Missouri. Time right now is just about 7 a.m. for the area this morning, and we're already near our seasonal highs this time of year. A lot of mid mo has hung on to the upper 60s and low 70s all night, and that is thanks to an approaching system. It's been bringing some pretty hefty southerly winds already this morning. We're seeing that gusting near 20 miles per hour, but you notice a bit off to the west. That's increasing near uh, Kansas and southern Nebraska. Is That's where we're watching those highest wind speeds. There is a wind advisory in effect for our far western counties to about 7 p.m. this evening ahead of an approaching storm system that's going to possibly bring rain after sundown tonight. But not ahead of that, those southerly winds get us all the way to the mid 80s and we will get a break in some cloud cover today very early in the afternoon. So make sure you get out and enjoy those nice conditions. Just going to still be a bit breezy before that system moves in and Again, that's just going to be some of the warmest temperatures we'll get for a while. So get out and enjoy it. And our Sunday is definitely looking much more soggy here across the area. Now, with these temperatures getting so warm, this is almost feeling more summer like. And this is actually temperatures, well, maybe getting into your car this afternoon. And if we get into those mid 80s and you leave that car locked already within 10 minutes, those temperatures get to the triple digits and continue to store within that first hour. So certainly something to start keeping in mind here as temperatures are ramping up. We haven't really seen that warmth uh, in quite a while here, so don't underestimate that ahead of this system. You can see with all that warmth and moisture, it's already kicking out uh, pretty impressive storms to our far west. That's going to take some time to get here, though. It's likely, again, not going to arrive until closer to after sundown for mid-Missouri. That biggest severe threat as well is uh, luckily more further to our west. We've got timing working in our favor as that moves here near sundown. That's going to be with temperatures dropping and the atmosphere is going to steadily lose energy as the system moves in. So if you're headed closer to Kansas City this weekend, certainly uh, not a bad idea to keep an eye on that forecast, but we will continue to track those storms rolling through mid-Missouri, possibly kicking out some damaging winds here in our area. It's still not really the best setup for severe weather. This latest run of future track, I've got our precip here this morning, maybe watching again some of those showers out ahead of this system, but these more smooth light blue and green colors is our instability that we're going to be watching today. That's really not uh, working with us. That's why we're going to see that severe threat further to the west. You can see this is noon this afternoon. We really have none of that instability across the area, so not expecting any storms to fire out uh, any earlier than we're expecting. Here's where that a line of that cold front and that line of storms arrives in our western counties. This is 9 p.m. tonight where that instability starts to spread across the area. You can see more of these yellow colors off near Kansas City. That's actually that higher instability, that bigger chance for severe weather we saw closer to uh, western Missouri here. You can see getting overnight. This is about just after midnight Sunday 2 a.m. where those heavier showers are moving into eastern portions of mid-Missouri. That's really going to be that potential for damaging winds right out ahead of this. And you can still see more of those lighter shaded blue colors. That's just pretty minimal um, instability across our area. That's why we're not expecting that severe threat to really hang around in mid-Missouri. By Sunday morning, this is 6 a.m., most of us just seeing showers. But this boundary, this cold front, is actually expected to really sit on top of us all of Sunday. You can see this is by the evening hours. We're still watching some of these uh, storms, possibly over the same area near about I-44, even possibly spreading close to Jefferson City in the evening. And in places here that receive a lot of rainfall, we are looking at a potential flooding threat here. And we'll keep our eye on that for sure heading into our Sunday. You can see it's finally going to start to move out of here by Monday morning. This is about that Monday morning commute at 6 a.m. Those showers likely moving to the far southeastern parts of the state and our Monday's looking sunny behind all of that rain again, certainly for our southern counties with how long that might stick around this weekend. We are facing that flooding threat. The uh, Weather Prediction Center has that about that two out of four, 15 percent for that excessive rainfall for our far southern counties. You can see that a uh, bit of a lesser chance, but still extended into maybe more central parts of the area as well. You can see that first round, just those showers we get here Saturday night, only going to bring maybe uh, half an inch of rain, even less than that to most of our area. It's really that second round all of Sunday. You can see as that front just sits right on top of the southern uh, half of mid-Missouri. It's really just going to bring possibly up to two inches of rainfall to some areas in that single day. So we will really want to look out for that flooding threat there. And you you want to have that Stone Track weather app on hand this weekend. It will alert you as any of these storms head your way and certainly head out to enjoy the nice temperatures we've got ahead of all the rain.